19 year old Tyler Ingersoll is fighting for his life a week after he was hit by a car participating in an illegal sideshow in Vallejo. The young father of an eight month old suffered traumatic brain injuries and remains unconscious. Cron Force Taylor Visaki spoke with his mother and fiance today. She shares us their story. Hard. It's been hard. It's been a, a rough road because I was there when it happened and to see him lifeless laying on the ground like that, it's a really scary thing. For Alyssa Gastelum and Desiree Riceway Greer, life dramatically changed a week ago when their loved one, 19-year-old Tyler Ingersoll, was hit by a car during a sideshow in Vallejo last Sunday. Gastelum, Ingersoll's fiance, says chaos broke out moments before Tyler was hit. A car spun and hit another car and then they were trying to get away and then a whole group of people like went after this car and then sh gunshots went off and a bullet flew right past my head. If it was an inch over, I probably would have been shot too. And I bent down and as soon as I got up, I seen Tyler's body laying on the ground. Ingersoll suffered traumatic brain injuries and remains unconscious. He's a father of an eight month old and is now expecting a child with gastelum. Riceway Greer, Ingersoll's mother, says they're still unsure if he'll recover from his injuries. Tyler's a wonderful guy and you know he was just starting out in life. You know, he's going to be 20 in August. He's just starting out. He, he deserves to have a better life. You know, hopefully he doesn't have to be stuck in a way that he isn't going to be happy. I hope. Uh, and pray that, you know, if he pulls through this, that he's able to be normal and have a normal life. Vallejo police say one person was also shot during the sideshow, but is expected to survive. Now, Ingersoll's family wants to see a crackdown on sideshows, and they hope no other family has to go through this heartbreak. They need to stop them because they're too dangerous. If they weren't so dangerous, it'd be one thing, but they're just becoming, you know, life or death with these kids, and they're getting out of hand. We never thought this would happen to us, and it did. And it's very scary that it could happen to someone else. The family launched a GoFundMe page to help pay for Ingersoll's medical expenses. I'm Taylor Bisaki reporting, Cron 4 News.